morning, Vanessa here from Apple Patch. We are up to block 41 and block 42. Definitely on the countdown now. So, block number 41 is this block here. So this is one of the triangle blocks. Um, it is just squares. Squares with the little half square triangle units to fill in the corners. Um, this is a really good one to use up little bits of fabric you've got. You don't have to do it in this sort of stripy bargello style. You could just do random uh, little squares of fabric, use up your little bits if you want, or do it as I've shown on the diagram. Entirely up to you. So that one should be pretty uh, easy to do. The other one is this one here. It is called Summer Wings. And it's definitely not summer out there today. Definitely not. Especially not here in Tassie. Now you'll notice on my diagram I've got grey, pink and sort of like a burgundy colour. When I've started making my sampler um, I've used a few more fabrics which you can do too. So it is a nine patch and you are going to be making little flying geese method, uh, little flying geese units and in the instructions I've given the instructions to make use the make four at once method. Oh that is such a mouthful. You're going to be joining your flying geese to a little rectangle and make sure you put the flying goose up the right way. This is my center row, and you'll see the flying geese actually point away from the center. You'll also be making cute little eight half square triangle units, and I'm pretty sure this is the first time we've made them this small. So you'll be making a little four patch out of three of those and one square. Now, I'm kind of zooming. Can you see there? There's some unpicking stitch line there. Yep, it's really easy to get these ones around the wrong way so your triangles aren't pointing the way they're meant to. Really easy. I even mention it in the instructions because I managed to get mine around the wrong way. Yep, really easy. So then that one I've managed to lay out with it being around the wrong way. So you're going to join them together to make a top and bottom row that look like this. And then you'll be joining them together to make that. I think this is a really pretty block. Okay. Right. I'm in a bit of a rush today because I had a class yesterday and I've got a class today. So just not enough hours in a day. Made these up a little while ago, yesterday, the day before. Um, but uh, yeah, need more hours in the day. Anyway, it's a great day for sewing if you're in Tasmania because it is really horrible weather out there. Okay then, have a great day. See you later.